Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Art in the Park. Um, this is actually going to be our last week for 2020. So if you've been following along on the passport that our, um, the Excelsior Springs Parks and Rec has um, kind of guided you through this July, um, you'll see it marked as um, today being the last day. But that doesn't mean that you have to stop making art and having fun. We'll go ahead and show you really quick what we're gonna be making today. Today our theme is going to be, we are grateful. And so it's all about showing gratitude and being thankful for the people and the places um, that are in our lives. So today we are grateful. So with the spirit of gratitude, we are gonna make a little project. It's like a little folded paper project um, that has a little note on it that says, thank you. So I will walk you through the lesson and then I look forward to seeing what you guys create. Have fun. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your white paper and you're gonna fold it in half three times. So I fold it once, fold it twice, and then you're gonna fold it one more time. Now, um, for parents with younger children, when it's time to start drawing inside of the box, if you want to do this part for them, um, you can. Older kids can probably handle this on their own. They don't have to do bubble letters or box letters, but you could probably help them with spelling or if they're less confident, you could even help them with um, drawing out their bubble letters if that's something they want to do. Okay, for the next step, I had uh, my kiddo go ahead and color in the letters, any designs that she wants to. I used um, Sharpies or any kind of waterproof marker would work uh, because I am going to go ahead and let her um, paint over the boxes once she gets done coloring her letters for the word thank, for the words thank you. Uh, you could always just use whatever materials you have. So if you've got crayons or markers, that is perfectly fine. Whatever you have available to you would be perfect. As I continue having my kiddo go ahead and finish um, drawing, you might have noticed that I snuck in a little piece of paper to go underneath, um, and that is just to protect your table. I call those messy mats, so they're kind of handy tools to use, um, and then all it is is just a scrap piece of paper to kind of catch any runoff um, stray markers or paint that happens to go by. And then I'm using watercolor paints to paint in the boxes. I'm doing this part for her because she was kind of ready for me to take over. Um, but you can totally make this a two-day project and let your kiddo do it at their own pace. And for this last step, I'm just going to fold it up like an accordion. And I used a piece of yarn just to tie it up and make it look kind of cutesy with a little bow. And this could be used as a gift or something that you could give to someone that, to show your appreciation and gratitude. All right, that concludes our um, art lesson for this week. We hope that you guys are well and that you're staying safe and healthy at home or wherever you're able to enjoy the rest of your summer. Uh, we look forward to joining you again next year for Art in the Park. Um, make sure you follow the Excelsior Springs Parks and Rec um, Facebook page so you can stay up to date with all the events and fun things they have going on. Also make sure you share your artwork with us so that we get to see what you guys have been up to. So we appreciate you, we are grateful for you, and we want to wrap up with thank you. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you.